In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down the best zone drops for you to use in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you have never been to my YouTube channel before, I just want to let you know that I post four videos a day here on YouTube that are designed to help you with some type of tactical tangible tip strategy or concept that you can utilize to get better and to win more games in Madden 21. So if that's something that interests you, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, if you really, really want to go to the next level in Madden, I wrote an, a book and it's called the Madden 21 Competitive Bundle Guide. It's a guide that I wrote on offense and defense. You can pick up that guide in the description below. One of the guys that purchased the guide said it is the best 25 bucks he has spent. So one time cost, pick up the guide today. It's yours over eight hours of video content with more updates coming this week. All right, guys, so zone drops. I get a lot of questions. Uh, I've gotten a lot of text messages about my zone drops asking what zone drops do you recommend? What are the best zone drops? So I figured I'd do a video on it. Um, and basically, zone drops vary depending on the scheme that you're going to be going against. So I'm just going to go against a good gun bunch scheme. What I like to do when I do zone drops is put baseline on, ball in air defense to play ball, option defense on conservative tackling on aggressive and then i will basically tinker with these three things right here now the base suggestion that i have for you is to put your flats on five yards your cur curl flats on 20 yards and your hook curls on 10 yards uh, and we're just going to come out of nickel three three five and what i recommend is just coming out in cover four drop it'd be fine it's no big deal uh, but what you'll see here is if i run this play Basically, the flats are wide open on this play from Gun Bunch. As you can see there, wide open flat route. So what I recommend doing is to basically mable one side and and do the other. So I'll just come out in Tampa 2. I'll audible to Tampa 2. You'll see I do this a lot. And this is my basic Tampa 2 coverage. I'll put two flats and two... Uh, two two flats and two curl flats. And then I will use her the middle of the field with my guy, basically. And here's what you'll see happen. We've got a nice cover three cloud, essentially. If they throw the post route late, you're going to be able to pick that off easily. And you'll see this basically takes away anything to the sideline. This Mabel coverage that I'm about to run takes away pretty much anything they're going to do to the sideline, right? Because of your, because of the positioning of your players now let's say they run like a, let's say they run verticals. Okay, they run verticals and what you'll see is they'll try to fit this in a lot. I think these deep half zones are pretty solid this year. Um, you can also put outside thirds up there if you're worried about getting beat deep. Uh, I can literally just, um, you can do that specifically in the big nickel over G if you want to. But this is what I would recommend right here. This is a basic shell. Now what you'll find is that they are going to be way able to hit you with these quick routes, these little quick underneath curl routes and hitches. Hitches are going to be open against this coverage. So let's say you're facing someone and you want to stop the hitch route. Well, what I recommend doing is putting your hooks on five yards. And in this situation, I'm going to put my zone drop flats to 20 and my curl flats to five. So you see this right here. Now this is for a little bit of a different style of coverage, but one that I still recommend. So um, if I come out, let's just say I come out and cover four and he's coming out in bunch, uh, gun bunch, ATL cell. Yep. So what you'll see is now if I have two hook curls, you'll see that they defend differently. So I have a spy here. You know, maybe I use her Savage in the back end here. And then maybe I go ahead and Mabel, you know, play a little cover six, essentially, is really what it's going to look boil down to. What you'll see at the snap of the ball is you can't throw these hitches. As you see there, I'm able to intercept the hitch very easily with the computer. The, the hook five yards and under hook curls are going to be, I mean, they're going to take this away. Now, what you'll also see, though, is a lot of times they'll be used to, they'll be used to you facing you know, running some type of coverage concept where you have a deep gap in the middle. So what they can do is they can throw this little quick seam route, but it's a tight window. And if you user it, it's really not there. So 
part of me does say if you want to tinker around a little bit with your yellow zones, you can put them at five yards. Just know that that throw is there. That seam throw is there. But what I find is when you drop those um, those those zones to ten, if you if you bring your deep blue zones down, like out of a cover four, for example, if I bring these guys down in the box. Then you'll see here that this is going to kind of deter this route a little bit. I mean, you're still going to be able to fit it in, right? But if I'm user controlling that route with the left side safety, there's really nothing else open. Um, the only other thing that's open is this inside uh, pass lead to that little uh, sail route. But if you throw, let's say, let's say you throw a couple flats out there, a couple hard flats or crow flats, it doesn't really matter. Um, but a couple light blue zones that are shaded at 20, you see that he's going to come down on that ball and he's going to make a play on that. The only thing that is open is if you inside, if you inside pass lead that sail route. So right about there, but you see how he kind of reacts. So it's not the easiest pass lead in the world. And I actually find that these five yard hook curls are pretty solid. Again, where you're going to run into challenges is if you face a spread set, Let's say you face something like this. And let's just do Tampa 2. Because I've seen this a lot online here. So this is your this is five yard hook curl zones. But you see how they're not as open as they used to be? Early on in the year, these were wide open. Now, eh, not so much. The seams are not as easy to hit now. I think also partially because of the fact that in Mutt, you're gonna have better cards come out. And better cards are going to mean that they're going to drop on the ball a little bit better from a deep blue zone. You see, I can fit this in, but it's a tight throw. So I would recommend, and these are the zone drops that I want to encourage you to do on your personal thing. Also, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, what are you waiting for? Go down in the description, join the Discord. It is a blast talking Madden with you guys over there answering questions. Put your hook curls at five yards. Now, if you're just getting absolutely destroyed on post routes, you can drop them back to 10 or maybe even 15. But for the most part, I find a lot of success with those five yard hook curls because they're going to defend drag routes. They're going to defend underneath hook routes, even slant routes to an extent these, these will defend. And then what I would recommend is one of these on 20, one of these on five. It doesn't have to be flats on 20, curl flats on five. It does, It could be either way you can go. Um, some people even like just putting these on 20 and putting these on default and using the hard flat um, slash cloud flat. But in my personal opinion, I think doing doing something like this, 525 or 255. Those are the two best zone drops for your defense in Madden 21. So thank you guys for watching this video. We've got a live stream coming tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time where we're going to be showing this strategy um, in real live online matches. Uh, so you can we can break it down for you there as well. Be sure to come by. I'd love to connect with you guys. If you want to play on stream, you certainly are more than welcome to send me a text to set up a game. My number is 812-216-3644. Thank you guys so much for your support. Let me know if this video helped you. Be sure to subscribe. But most importantly, guys, if you really want to take your game to the next level, I want to ask you right now, if you've watched this video all the way through, pick up that... Pick up that Madden 21 Competitor's Guide. That guide is a full guide that is going to explain the ins and outs of my offensive and defensive schemes and why they're the most effective. I've ran every single play in Madden 21 at this point, and I can honestly tell you that the Arizona Cardinals and the 4-6 defense are the best, best, best offensive and defensive schemes this season. So thank you guys so much for your support, and we'll see you tonight on the live stream.